It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and it's time for What's On Your Mind. Okay. But before we can begin, we all need to log into our brains real quick, so let's connect. Okay. Oh. That's Definitely right. dial up. Yeah, it looks like we're oh. on dial up again. Wait, why is it dial up? Oh. Okay. <laughs> we don't have Wi Fi? No. Thinking. Wait. Thinking. Somebody better not be on the it's phone. Oh, come on. So if someone has the phone up right now, it's not going to work. Uh, you know what? We're going to have to call IT on this one. Ah. Dang it. Sorry, Alex. You're going to have to come in and connect it for us. Alex, <laughs> we're going to fax you. Yeah, we're going unconnected for a brand new What's On Your Mind, where we go around the room and find out what each member of the morning show has been thinking about Somebody lately. Somebody page Alex. Starting with Brooke. What's been on your mind? Uh, you know... When it comes to celebrity, we're in radio and we're like kind of the lowest rung on that celebrity totem yeah, pole. Yeah, totally. sure. we talk about celebrities. But I mean, it's nice because every once in a while we do get preferential treatment. Yeah, mm-hmm. right? that's true. Right? Especially when we talk about something on air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you have heard about my bridge woes, okay? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the bridge to my home is out. Yes. Yeah. It's out for the next couple years. Mm. So you have to take this long detour. Anyway. And we're not talking about the moat around her mansion. We're talking about an actual <laughs> bridge <laughs> in the city. You guys. <laughs> what happened? I got contacted on Instagram. <gasps> what? By the guy who runs the bridge. No. No. Really? Did he hit you up? No. No. His name's Kenny. Oh. His name's okay. Kenny. And okay. I think that Shout he's out. the guy that works in it because it's a... It's a, uh, like a draw bridge, draw bridge yeah. right? Okay. Has to go up and down. Shut up. He wrote me. Oh, no. what, what did he, he say? Did so I am, I'm starstruck right, right now. Right? So I am so excited. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm finally going to get, because you can get these special passes that let you sneak oh. over the bridge that we're not supposed to go on. Oh. And so I'm like, this is it. This is my end. This is my chance. And yeah. you know what Kenny writes? What? What? Pay your ticket. Yeah. Oh. No, he didn't. Way to go, Damn Kenny. It, Kenny. Way oh. to stand up for what? the law of the land. <laughs> And he's a very nice man. He uh-huh. went on to say that you're so awesome, you know, and he said, uh, just think of all the times you sneaked over my bridge and didn't pay. I bridge. forgive you because <laughs> you're my favorite. But there was no, he also called me a vehicular villain. You so, are. I mean, he's a whoa. troll. He's the troll that controls the bridge. He's he very nice. But I was <laughs> wow. just hoping he would give me one of those passes so I could use his bridge. Oh, my I, God. I like him more that he stuck to his gun. He's like, you're too. great, but not that great. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it so funny that we get emails and stuff from people that are promoting Macklemore. Like, Macklemore can come into the studio yeah. or we could have Rihanna on there. Oh, dude, and yeah. we're like, no, no, no. Give us <laughs> Kenny the bridge guy. Oh, yeah. I want he, Kenny on. He has so much power in my life he right does. now. I don't think you understand. And he's he's wielding it. <laughs> we, we love you, Kenny. Yeah. yeah, we do. Jose, what's been on your mind? Well, just like millions of other people right now, I have been trying since day one to get my hands on a brand new PS5. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. it's been months, okay? Uh, you're on all sorts of notifications and email yeah, lists. Twitter and, yeah, Twitter things. I talk about it at work. I'm trying to sign up for notifications and stuff. It's not working because the second yeah. you get to the website, you go to the, once you're at the checkout screen, they're always sold out. Right. Mm-hmm. These bots are buying them or right. something so fast and I can't get them, right? Right. Yeah. So then the other night, a miracle happened. Uh oh. Okay. While I was sleeping, my buddy saw that a batch had become available online. And he knows I've been annoying him just like you guys about Mm -hmm. this. Yeah, you're very persistent. So he (laughs) bought one while I was asleep. And he and I woke up to a message, him like just casually, hey bro, I just want to let you know I bought you a PS5 last night because I know you're dying to get one. Uh, you know, I just didn't want to wake you up. What uh, friend of the year? I was like, what kind of exactly what kind of <laughs> friend is this that just has like tons of money to just buy me something? That's you don't need love in your wow. life when you have friends like this. I yeah. don't. And now that I have a new PS5, I have a new love in my life. <laughs> yeah. And it is that is it. Do you have a sugar daddy? Uh, I do what, now, and it's what Joe. Happened? His name is Joe. Wait, oh, wow. what? And that's my buddy, and he has wow. he got me a PS5, and I was literally shaking. I was like, this is I think it's the same moment like when when I have a baby and you see the baby for the first time, right, it's Brooke? Not, yeah. You're, not. you're shaking. You're not. And you, no. you want to hold it, but you the, don't want to hurt it. Yeah. I, I love yeah. you. And okay. I cried a little bit, but just like you would have when I had a baby. Your PS5 is not like having a child. No, yeah, it is. Yeah, it, when, when it starts, when just like when you with a kid, when it starts acting up, you hit the restart button, you blow into its little cartridge area, <laughs> yeah. and then it's going to be better. And they're mad expensive. Yeah. So, well, okay. anyway, I have 
have a new baby, and I just want to give a shout out to my buddy Joe. Aww. I love you, bro. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joe. You've officially distracted Jose from his job even more. <laughs> You made our work much harder. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Our Great. social media coordinator, Alexis, what's been on your mind? So I was at my other job at the coffee shop the uh-huh. other day, and I got there, and my manager said he needed to talk to me in the back. Oh, God. Yeah, Bad so feeling. I'm like, what now? Like, did yeah. another customer complain? Like, <laughs> did he see <laughs> me doing so something? Much. Uh-huh. Um, but no, he sat me down and said, someone came in the other day, a listener of our show, and asked for my autograph. What? <laughs> yeah. for, for your autograph or for the manager's autograph? <laughs> for oh, okay. They knew who I was, so my manager asked me to sign napkins and leave them there. Uh, <laughs> shut up. No. Shut up. So I'm now serious. you can go to your coffee shop and get an official <laughs> Alexis napkin. Well, I said no. <laughs> oh, you did? Good. Yeah. You could have done, like, lipstick because... kisses on all of them. Oh. I can't. I don't know. I you want to sell them. That's what you're saying. That's, that's you right. Leverage this money. into a pay raise for yeah. yourself. Yeah, totally. Oh, I didn't even think about that yet. See, I was thinking it made me want to quit more. But no. I mean, <laughs> You say, look at me. I'm bringing customers in without even trying. Oh, wow. I was I'm going to tell people not to come. I'm but... worth more to this organization. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you, you guys are changing do. my mind now. Yeah. There you go. Instead of napkins, you should leave your old dirty socks behind. Oh. Sign them because, you <laughs> know, people try to buy those. break the health code, but... Oh, yeah, it is a coffee shop. You could do that in the alley behind the the coffee there you show. Go. Wow. Okay. I mean, you guys helped a lot. Okay. I was going to say no, but yeah, we're here I'll for start you. Start signing right now. There yeah. You go. Life advice. <laughs> but yeah, thank so you cool. to my one fan out yeah. there. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey, what's on your mind? Well, you know that I have many weaknesses at this job. <laughs> at the job? No, actually, we feel like you're doing a great job. It's you that think you're terrible. Well, you know, sometimes, occasionally. Our, our listeners will call me out on our on my weaknesses and shame me over the text board. <laughs> well, all okay. of us get that. Just yeah. want to say thank you to Hank from Rotterdam. <laughs> You're right, my Irish accent isn't very good. But probably my biggest weakness here is checking my email. Oh, oh my god! So, and you responding, you never respond. I have salespeople come to me yeah. and they're like, I emailed Jeffrey a month and a half ago and Same I haven't heard that. Yeah. yeah, well, it's becoming a problem for me now. It's yeah. just it's, now? It's been a problem for me for years. Yeah. <laughs> because between my two email accounts, I now have oh, no. over 41,000 unread messages oh, in no, my inbox. You don't. I, and what? I read a bunch of them. I still Ew. read a bunch, oh but gosh. I have 41,000 unread ones, and I don't know what to do anymore. Do you know how many people just listening to that had a panic attack? I, yeah. <laughs> like, that is <laughs> that is just anxiety-inducing. Yeah. Even the other day, we were all supposed to be on a Zoom call, and we were leaving work, and it's like, okay, see you tonight on Zoom, and Jeff's uh, like, what do you mean? Know. <laughs> like, you didn't get the email? I get so many emails every day from random people, people that want to come on the show and, like, be like, oh, I have vegan recipes oh, for yeah. diabetic cats <laughs> for the soup. Super Bowl. But you can tell in the Aww. subject line what to delete and no. what to read. Like, There's it's too very... many. There's too many. I mean, they come in so now. quick. My popularity is soaring oh, through the roof. The There's so much <laughs> fan mail. Was this just a humble fan brand mail. the entire time? Well, I, mean, I just don't know what to do with it anymore. Okay. Now, like, I'm wondering, should I respond to that email from 2013 when oh. Angela from HR wanted to know who my dependents were? <laughs> Angela doesn't even work here anymore, I but I feel bad that I never responded. I and maybe I should just get a new email. Oh, start oh. fresh. Start over with a fresh one no. until that one fills up That's to 40,000 no. unread you messages. That's like once your house is messy, you get a new house. It doesn't work like that. It sounds <laughs> easier than having to go through and actually sort through all this mail. Okay. I think that there's someone out there that could help you. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's diabetic vegan cat recipe. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should bring her and just have her go through my inbox. Sounds interesting. But I could yes. use some advice. What do I do with all these unread messages? Oh, text no. in some help. And also text into 78592. Tell us what you've been thinking about lately we'll read your text coming up right after this it's brooke and jeffrey in the morning